Hey guys, we're gonna learn the new proper way to handle a snapping turtle. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to lift them straight up by the tail because it severs their spinal cord because their spine is in the shell and it runs through the tail. Uh, a common way you'll see people handle snapping turtles is by grabbing the back of the shell because there's kind of two handles there. And it's perfectly safe to do that especially with smaller ones, but a really good way to handle a snapper is to lift them up, lift the back half of the turtle up, slide your hand under, and then put the other hand on top. Wait, Editor John here. Putting one hand on top of the shell is okay, but it's much better to grab the base of the tail or the back of the shell instead. If you do put one hand on top of the shell, make sure it's towards the back half. Common snapping turtles have really long, flexible necks, and they can reach up to halfway around the shell to bite you. This is mainly from the sides, which is why you should never handle a snapping turtle by the sides of the shell. It's a little harder for them to reach that far above their shell, but not impossible. I'm going to give some more commentary later. Alright, back to the show. What our goal here is to do is to pick up the snapper and move it that direction on the road because the snapper is facing this way. On this side of the road, there's a bunch of trees and a ditch. On the other side of the road, if you can pan the camera over there, you can see kind of a wetland over there. So I would imagine that this is where the snapper wants to go. Currently it's fall, so I don't believe they'll be laying eggs anytime soon, so this turtle's probably just sunning. So with all the yapping out of the way, let me show you how to properly handle a snapping turtle. You want to stay behind the turtle at all times. My hand is below the turtle right now. And look at that. I can't see it. Is the mouth open or closed? Closed? All right. Let's move this turtle across the street. All right. If I were to do this again, here's what I'd do differently. First, I'd crouch when I'm walking so the turtle is closer to the ground in case it falls. Second, my top hand is too far forward on the shell. You'll actually see me move my hand back a little. Good man. Third, I set this turtle down as gently as I could, but you can see I give it a little shove at the end. I did this to put some space between me and the turtle once it was on the ground. I was a little scared of getting bit, but I think I was just a tad rough. If my top hand was on the base of the tail instead of the top of the shell, the shove could have been avoided. I would also set it down on the grass for a softer landing. But, as you can see, the turtle's just fine, and it went straight for the wetland. I also wanted to demonstrate how to sex a snapping turtle, but I didn't want to stress it out too much. So what animal and nature stuff do you want to see next? Follow my channel and let me know in the comments.